And close at home, many coming together in Surfside last night, united by the power of prayer. The conflict stirring up strong emotions here in South Florida with one of the largest Jewish communities in the country. Local 10's Trent Kelly is in Surfside with more on the prayer service. Saturday's surprise attack in Israel affecting so many people right here in South Florida who either have friends or family in the region there. Because of that, the Shul of Val Harbor here behind me held a special prayer service last night. Everyone sharing their own stories of pain and heartbreak as they continue to come together and pray for peace. It's appeared since uh... Saturday. Melania Bololo sending prayers to her nephew and his wife who were feared to be held hostage by terrorists in southern Israel. We were there as she received an update. They rescued my nephew, my nephew. Sorry. People uniting in prayer on Monday, hoping for more miracle rescues. <laughs> Nearly everyone at the Shul of Val Harbor impacted by this war, including Jenny Bublik. My daughter lives in Tel Aviv, Israel. And Mitchell Gottlieb. My wife is in Israel, in the south. They are hunkered down in one house. Everyone turning to faith to help them find strength. The prayer with faith, with trust, with good deeds. When you take one straw and you try to break it, it's easy. But when you take a stack of straws, you can't be broken. It's not a time for blame. It's not a time for diplomacy either. It's a time for action. Because without a state of Israel, I, Jews are not safe anywhere in the world. This is really, in my opinion, it's not a Palestinian problem. I think the Palestinians are the shield for Hamas and all the other terror organizations. And the big question on everyone's mind this morning is exactly how long this war will continue. For now, that is the latest from Surfside. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.